Let's get into the AI part. What exactly we are delivering? Uh, so let's talk about that our journey with vectors didn't start in last 12 months. We had a vector support since 2018. We had a KNN search. We have vector functions. People are in production on single store using vector related capability. We have KNN search available. But in this particular release, we are taking a quantum leap to that. We are adding a lot of KNN search related capability. We are making pluggable architecture framework available to you. So you can potentially not only leverage library of your choice, but also you can use between IVF, HNSW, I, HNSW, I, IVF, PQ, any of those algorithms, depending upon your use case to use case. Uh, and you can apply this whole rag pattern to both real time as well as to your data at rest. And in order to kind of get the maximum performance out of this whole thing, we introduced new vector data type. You, you want to kind of build the right foundation. Anybody who's playing with the vector database in terms of roadmap, what we are trying to do is that serverless, we talk about that, all these capabilities are gonna be available to you through serverless. But the biggest thing you really need to kind of keep in mind that what we are doing, we are adding GPU support to do when you're doing index building. Anybody who has played with vector databases, they know that it's super, super hard and complex to leverage the right algorithm with the right parameter. You, you want to care about recall, performance, cost, all those things are critical. What we are working on to provide, make it simple. You tell us, what is important for your use cases is speed, accuracy, recall, whatever is more important for you, you just pass that hint and will automatically apply the right algorithm for you. All these capability is gonna be available through uh, uh, SDK as well. And additionally, the power of our vector capability is that how you combine that with SQL semantics. So we have, make it sure that range, searches, and all those things are easily available to you. Additionally, we talk about that. We are adding a full text search through Java Lucene. Today, we have C Lucene available, and some of the demos which my friend Eric will show you is based on C Lucene current capability. But in, within next three months, you will see that we will have the latest and greatest version of uh, 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 of Java Lucene, which will allow us to kind of do a lot more interesting stuff um, around uh, that. Now I want to kind of simply walk you through people. This goes back to the point which Raj was making that um, adding another purpose-built database, which is a vector database, is overcomplicate your architecture. This is a very common pattern. I'm sure you have seen million of times this thing. But what is the problem with this thing? When you're doing with other databases, that you say that now I want to kind of use, bring in another vector database in the picture. What exactly the problem it's causing? Look at that, your rag pattern, your application, Gen AI application is over complicated here because it need to talk to at least three different systems. So you're constantly getting some data from here, getting some data from here, sending, getting some data from here, you are responsible to stitching this data together. You are responsible to make sure that you have the proper a security mechanism, RBAC setup. Anybody can see the data information on top of that and then send it to the LLM. When you are building this application and you want to kind of get millisecond response time, it's, there's so many hops in this thing. It's very, very difficult. This is when then you're gonna start looking into, hey, I need a caching layer here. I need X, Y, Z there. This is where it's continue becoming an overcomplicated way. But if you do the exact same pattern on single store, if you just want to kind of see the simplified version of your rag pattern, 
your all this data which we talk about how you can bring into single store and building these application on top of single store it can make your rag pattern super super simple